Today's daily challenges that I'm going to go ahead and cover are milkweed, English mace, and collard peccaries. Just want to give a huge shout out to my girlfriend who I met in 2009, which was my second year playing professionally here in Europe. And we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary today. So shout out to you, babe. Love you. And thanks for the past 10 years. So you just see right there, for some reason, people just like to shoot for no damn reason. But I'll oblige them and get some daily challenges done by killing them with some weapons. So we have kill players with the Lichfield, Collard Peccaries, English Mace, Posse Infighting, players killed with Sawed Off Shotgun, Milkweed, and Perfect Pelt Sold. So some of these are repeats, except for the Milkweed, I'm going to show you a location just a little southeast of Rhodes that I like to go ahead and use for a lot of things, especially when it comes to challenges where we have to get Perfect Pelts. So that area in New Austin is where you could find the Collard Peccaries. You can find milkweed in a lot of locations, but there's a spot right here that there is eight located. And that part south of Rhodes is a great place to get perfect pelts, whether it's raccoons, rabbits, gators, deer. There's a bunch of them over there. And then the last spot is English Mace. Again, that is a repeat from the other day. So here we are on the map. You see this location just right off the uh, train track, kind of in the swamp area. I think there is eight of them located in this area between this spot straight in front of me and then around the corner there is a couple more i had to pick about eight today before this challenge ended up actually registering a good thing that i have noticed lately though is if you leave the area and just come back they will reset for you without actually having to you know go into your online options and respawning back in the same area in free roam so you can go ahead and try that out first i mean you shouldn't have a problem here because there is about eight I took off not too far from the area and I came back and there was some more and I was actually able to get this one done. So that is nice. I think that's something that's happened in the past couple days. Unfortunately, they do keep reshuffling these daily challenges. It would be nice if they threw in some stuff like do some stranger missions or some other things. There's plenty of options. So I ended up going up to Ansberg. I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. I'm looking at the map. He's cleaning my horse. I guess that was kind of a suggestion that he thought it was a little dirty. So if you remember from the video the other day, there is about four English mace in this area, which kind of sucks in a certain way because we need to get five. But again, I'll show you in the next clip. I literally just went about maybe 200 feet away, came back, and not every one of the plants respawned. There was only, I think, one plant in each location that respawned. So there was a total of two out of the four. But that was good enough for me because I think I picked my four and then uh, the fifth one didn't register. So then I had to pick another one. So I picked a total of six to give me a total of five now something else i want to mention i loaded in the other day my horse's cores were grayed out no matter what i fed him it never ended up turning white now today i'm having that issue with my player is there anybody else that's having that problem where your cores for your horse or your player no matter what you eat for some reason are gray and shaded out so in this clip i actually left the area because i only got four and i came back and you'll see out of the two locations where there was two plants in each location only one of them really ended up respawning which was fine enough for me because i only really needed to collect one although i had to collect two before it registered so that is a good change it seems like they're upping the spawn rate it's not like once you pick them then it's it for the day another thing i noticed too has anybody noticed that the fast travel prices are ridiculously high it seemed like they dropped the prices for your camp and they raised everything else so you can find these collard peccaries here in New Austin, specifically near uh, Solomon's Folly where there's a gang hideout, all the way over to Gap Tooth Ridge along the train track. So hopefully these challenges help you out. Leave some comments if you have some other locations. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.